Today is a day for two kinds of people. Those who hated Jake Gardner and those who loved him here in Toronto. And I'm gonna try to do my best to appease both crowds, but you're gonna have to forgive me if it's a little bit difficult at times because there is multiple angles for us to look at today. Let's start with the people who hated him because I have a take on this and I think it's going to make sense. When you have a player, no, let me rephrase that. When you have a Jake Gardner on your roster, things tend to be a little bit complicated. Whether you like him or you hate him, it's very exhausting to have the same conversation about a particular thing or a particular someone over and over and over again until you're blue or red in the face like I am. We saw another athlete in this city that contributed to multiple years of success leave a team in this city just a couple of months ago, and yes, I'm talking about Aaron Sanchez. It was friggin' exhausting to talk about the same damn storylines every single time when it came to that guy. A guy with undeniable talent, but the narrative, the narrative just got in the way time and time again, and it was exhausting to be a part of. Jake Gardner has been a Leaf since the 2011-2012 season. And when you watch a guy on a daily basis, you develop some sort of twisted, crazy, demented relationship with them, even if they don't even know that you exist. And in a relationship, when there's personal feelings and emotions involved, there's always some sort of bias. And maybe to the people who loved Jake Gardner, maybe their perception was a little bit skewed because I don't think this guy was viewed the same way that they saw him around the league. He didn't really represent the U.S. national team very many times in major international tournaments. And I think Jake Gardner around the league is known as the guy that Maple Leafs fans use as their punching bag. So it didn't really surprise me when this really low number came out when he finally signed with the Carolina Hurricanes, by the way. Jake Gardner is a Carolina Hurricane. So that's it. I'm not going to talk about any Game 7s. I'm not going to point out any specific plays. You guys have all seen them. That's It's going to be a waste of my time to do that here today. That's it for the hating on Jake Gardner portion of the video. Up on the screen right now is a list of defensemen sorted by points per game, minimum 150 games played for the last three seasons. And as we can see here, Jake Gardner's in some pretty good company. But as we all know, that was never the knock on Jake Gardner. His offensive abilities were never in question. Now I'm gonna repeat myself a couple of times because this might be a little bit hard to wrap your head around by the time we actually get to it. I'm not gonna cite some crazy complicated stat. Let's just go goals for and goals against, but we're gonna do it at five on five because we're civilized people here. And I'm gonna say it loud and clear for everyone in the back. Since the 2014 season, Jake Gardner has been on the ice for 280 goals for and 246 goals against. Now, I'm not some genius math wizard here, but that looks like a net positive of 34 goals. I might be a little bit out of touch with the stats community, but I think the ultimate goal of hockey is to score more goals than the other team. Yeah, but like, um, three of those years were like with Austin Matthews, so what does that even matter? The first two were with Peter Horacek for half a season and Peter Holland as the first line center. Peters have not been kind to us in Toronto. But that's not even like scratching the tip of the iceberg, all right? The Maple Leafs have Cody CC signed to a $4.5 million one-year contract, and a lot of people are still very confused on whether they could have just walked away from the whole thing to begin with. I don't know. Don't ask me. It's way above my pay grade. You don't make any money doing these yeah, videos. Yeah, he's right. But for my sanity alone, I'm going to choose to believe that that wasn't an option. Because if we're living in a world where we could have had Jake Gardner instead of Cody Cece, who is only a Maple Leaf because Nikita Zaitsev was handed some ridiculous seven-year contract, then I'm going to be very, very upset. By the way, Zaitsev and CC make more than Gardner per season. I really don't know what to say anymore. God, I don't know how Steve Dangle does that. I got like the biggest headache ever right now. And I'm I'm not I'm not I am I am acting to a certain extent, but 
I also do legitimately feel this way. But this is a little bit of a loaded video, so if I did forget anything, please make sure to just correct me or leave it down in the comments section below. And make sure to like the video, guys, because I'm going to go take a couple of aspirins after this one. Um, subscribe for more because more is always on the way. And as always, take care.